so I can uh, share that uh, the biggest evolution of myself that I experience is that uh, today I can sit here and uh, deeply see in myself that I don't wish to change any of my thoughts and emotions. Right here, right now, I have no wish for that. I have no longings for that and I truly and deeply see that I am fine as I am. So that is the new way of claiming yourself and a new way of, of really raise up to your, your pure benefit as a human being. That's, that's, that's just how we were meant to live. Because when I see it's possible for me, I really understand that uh, why, why did I waste so much time and energy my, my precious human life in trying to manipulate my thoughts and emotions to feel good or manipulate other people's thoughts and emotions for that matter when I now see that that's not what matters what matters is to tap into something that I see that is so stable about me Something that is really nameless, we can call it basic state, we can call it it's nature's intelligence, it's just who we are, but we know it instinctively. It, it's an experience of, of truly experience that you are fine as you are. So when I met this training the first time and I heard that line, nothing needs to change. Nothing needs to change about you or anything. I was like, no way. <laughs> How could that be possible? And I kept coming back and they kept saying that. And I, I was like, maybe I will just test now what, what the, the main instruction is in this training. Because that is so simple. We just say, for short moments, you tap into open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. Because in this training we call that state, that basic state, for open intelligence or opening intelligence. So we all can have a common language to refer to. It's just common sense that it's so helpful to have a common language so we understand when, we, when I say, when I can rely on myself as open intelligence, I see that all my thoughts and emotions, they don't have any power over me. So you can identify yourself as open intelligence right now. Right now. By stop thinking for a moment. To see that your thoughts doesn't matter to see that you don't need thinking to listen to me right now. You can be fully aware, fully present, wide open, just here, free of any descriptions of this moment, just being here. And identify yourself as that stable ground, as that basic state, as that open intelligence. That's it. That's what you've been looking for your whole life. It's just to be found there in testing, checking within all your experience throughout everyday life. And you get so convinced, more and more. I've been involved for five years now and I'm so convinced that there has always been something stable about me. And it is something stable about me now, sitting here, and there will always be something stable about me. And how do I know that? Just because I've done these short moments now for five years, so many times, I've repeated it so many times, <coughs> in face of really wanting people to change, really feeling that raging idea of you need to change because I cannot stand you like this. And taking short moments with what comes up in me because then I see I, I never could change my own thoughts and emotions. I mean, I could have a belief system that I could manipulate and change it. But in reality, I couldn't. It's just like moving air around. It's like I can, I can say, I am in a bad mood today, or I'm in a good mood today. The air is unaffected. You can call yourself whatever, but you as open intelligence, you are unaffected. You don't care about that. 
So then we have now a clear decision in our life. What will we continue to label over, over self? Will we continue to label ourselves as that person with bad mood or that person that uh, are always happy or that person that, uh, you know, whatever it is your favorite label for yourself? Don't you see now how limited it is to just label yourself by some random labels and not allowing yourself to experience who you are fully? Labels are so limiting. And then we repeat the label and then we start to believe we are only that. Which is an illusion. We've never only been that label. So we start to see that all these thoughts, emotions, all the memories, all the longings, people, places, things, whatever that comes up in your perception right now, it's just information, it's just data. In this training we call it just data. Because it's not interested, interesting. It simply is not interesting. Because what you come to see when you take those short moments that I just told about, is that all this data are just you expressing yourself naturally. That the data is inseparable from open intelligence. <coughs> That's an important key point that you start to instinctively recogni recognize. You cannot understand it. At least, I mean, maybe you can, but I don't understand how I could un understand this. <laughs> because it's an experience an experience. So all the data is inseparable from open intelligence. It's open intelligence expressing itself. It's the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Just like the color blue and the sky. Just like the wind and the air. Just like the reflections in the mirror. Try right now to imagine that you could take out the reflection from the mirror and call this is my thoughts and emotions, and this is my face, and this is, you know, it's not possible. It's all one. But that is where all the pain and suffering I saw in my own life was when I, I took everything to be something. Fixed, solid, I am that very angry person, or I'm that very sad person, or, you know, and then keep on repeating that many times, until that identity felt like it was continuous. You know, that's how I repeated, just labeling my experience all the time. So I really found so much relief, and, and just so much... I think relief is really summing it up for me, by giving myself small breaks from describing myself and others and just letting myself be as I am and letting other people be as they are. Because ultimately that is the biggest gift you can give to yourself and to humanity. You can test that today by just whenever you remember, take those short moments, you tap into that stable ground as open intelligence and see for yourself if you also are open in intelligence if you are also included in open intelligence. If, if you, when you are very sad, if, if you, when you are very angry, is included in open intelligence. Because when you really let yourself be as you are, you, you step into your, your true power as a human being. Because open intelligence is simply your, your pure, power to know, just to know who you are in each moment. That pure power to know is free of all these ideas that you had about yourself, is free of all these habits, you know, maybe you have some favorite habits of, of gossiping, of putting other people down, or putting yourself down, of critici criticizing, blaming, you know, all these habits that we learned that we thought we had to do to protect ourselves, to, to, to just be liked and loved, you know, all of that. But there's something about you that don't need the, these habits. That is that pure power, that pure, pure power to know.
We are so simple as human beings. I, I just wish from my heart for everyone to just step into this simplicity and, and just start to live your life instead of thinking about living your life. That is the evolution. You know, we have really tried to mentally understand the nature of reality for endless of time. It just doesn't work. It's only experiential. So we can, you know, shop around, you know, read many nice interesting books about nature of reality. We can go to many interesting talks. It can, we can do this for endless time. Until we die and beyond. But unless you can claim it for yourself as your own direct experience, when you face yourself when you're so angry, when you face yourself when you're so happy, when you face yourself when you're so sad, when you face yourself just as you are and other people, and see then if there is something about you that is nature of existence itself, which is open intelligence expressing itself. So in this, um, in this training, we, we, um, we really keep it so simple because to have this as an experience in your own life, training is needed. Because just imagine your life, how much you had trained to believe that you were limited by your thoughts and emotions. It's so many years we did that. So I, I, it's not even logic to me to think that we don't need to train it up. We need an education. We need a standardized education that we have the same language about expressing this instinctively. So in this training we call this education the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays is where you can practice if it's safe to let everyone and yourself be as you are. You can feel so safe to test there. Because everyone relying on open intelligence know that it's safe. So we support each other in that. And, and I have just seen that you know, all these thoughts I had about how I really wanted to to show up in the world, how I wanted to contribute to my own life and to everyone. I, I always wanted to be nice. I always wanted to, to support other people, to empower other people. I didn't want to gossip. I didn't want to disempower other people. I didn't want to put myself down. I didn't want to believe in internalized oppression and that I was not good enough. Who wants to believe in that? But I kept on believing that because I, I didn't have any training, any education that showed me that it wasn't necessary and that there was a way to empower myself and others. It's so simple. And this education, the four mainstays I've seen in my own life, that's all that's happening. We can have so many ideas and, and, and just, you know, trying to understand the mainstays and, and oh, I don't like that education, I want, you know, we can co continue like that, but it's an instinctive education about your own experience. So that's what I come to see in my own life, that I just tested those instructions of short moments. And in the training we all have a personal trainer that only support us to, to see that we are safe and stable, stable within all of our experience. A trainer that never buy into your self-limiting stories, your victim stories, your stories about other people not behaving the right way. Never ever believing in anything of that. Just always pointing you to the true power as a human being, where you're not dependent on all of this, on all of these ideas. I'm changed as a human being, just in that relationship itself. Because I was willing to to not continue my victim story, you know, when that victim story was not fed, I could feed it myself, of course. And we can always continue to be victims. But I was just so tired of it and said, I, I just want to give up my right to be a victim. I just, just don't want to do it anymore. 
So to sit here today and just trust my experience just as I am, it's just such a relief. I mean, I remember before I, in my job, I had to do talks many times, PowerPoints, just to feel so safe, to always know what to say. And here, I'm only trusting my own spontaneous experience of this moment and share from that. And, and this is how I learned that, that just being Nina is enough in each moment. I don't need to change that. I can trust my spontaneous expression. That is your birthright as a human being. To trust your spontaneous experience, your spontaneous expression, because all that you experience, all your data, are, are just you know, randomly being expressed anyway. They come and they go without leaving any trace, like a line drawn in water. So when you use these four mainstays, I mentioned the two, the, the short moments and the trainer. And then we have uh, so much for you to enjoy on our website, audio, media, books. You can design your own education program like we heard in the video. Some people like to read the text, some people watch videos, you know, you just design what is most helpful and supportive for you. And we are here to help you to, to put together a program for yourself. So it's just like so empowering that nobody really do it for us. We can decide how much we want to rely on this, this amazing, generous support. We even have a 24-7 live support, like a chat line where you can get support from a trainer. It's just amazing. And in the community, we really see how it is possible to live together and work together without conflicts. Five years I've been involved. I've never seen a conflict. Why? It's simple, because we're all empowered to take responsibility for our, our data, for our thoughts and emotions. We take responsibility for that. Not that old contrived way, still being a victim. Oh, okay, I'm not saying anything. No, just because you want that. Because it's, you see it's disempowering to just automatically react on this stuff. And then you just open up to an endless creative solution orientation. Now I see I wasted so much of my time in problem descriptions. So much time on problem descriptions. What's, what's, what is it needed for? I mean, what, if, you, if we can talk about problems for a whole day without pr providing a solution, it's just a waste of my time and the people around me. So now always if there's something that kind of for a second I believe is a problem, I always ask myself, what is the solution? What is the most benefit here? Anyone can do that. And then we just realize that this problem description and only living from that without even seeing solutions, we just see that it was such a narrow place to live from. So today I really experienced that that solutions and gratitude for life and for everyone it's just a natural part of being a human being, but I never really saw it. I saw it at some times, but now I see it all the time. And that, that isn't any cliche or anything, that is just real life. And that I just didn't have any opportunity to see that before. <coughs> and now I see that, and, and for that I am so forever grateful. I would rather just live a life based on my trust that just being me is enough just allowing myself to spontaneously express myself, <coughs> knowing that I always just want what is the most benefit. I only want to show up in that way, also in the relationship to myself. So that is what this education has empowered in me and is endlessly empowering in me. So when I know that it's possible for me, I know it's possible for anyone, anywhere, because I'm not anything special at all. I'm just really a regular person, a human being, that just were fed up of the old way I lived my life. Just so fed up of it. And that was my great openness to just start all over again. To really start all over again. And to claim this, this new way of, of living human life. So that's, that is what we can take all over the world. Because that is the real benefit. And from that place, 
you know, benefit would never ever look a certain way. That's the conventional idea about benefit, always boxing it in to look a certain way. But it's a spontaneous expression to that time, place and circumstance. So when we are free of all expectations, we only work, operate and see from, from that natural solution orientation. We can, we can totally change the world in this moment. If we all claimed it now, all human beings in this moment claim this now, the world would have been changed within a second. So we know it, so it's just about time to do it.